Hello, in this video I would like to show you how you can debug a remote MCP server. Uh, let's start. Uh, first I have uh, a remote MCP server. Uh, the code is not impo important about it. The most important uh, that it runs right now on locally, I can run it locally on port 8000. 8, uh, next, if I want to connect my MCP connector to cloud desktop, I need to have HTTPS, uh, HTTPS endpoint. That's why I will use NCROC. And now I have my endpoint. And the next step, let's try to connect uh, our server to cloud desktop. We, we go to settings, manage connectors. Uh, I will say add a new connector new connector and then I need to provide uh, the, the URL to my connector and my endpoint which should be used by cloud desktop is MCP then I push add okay I waited about a minute and now my connector is added it's over here new connector uh, the next step is to connect my uh, remote MCP connector I'm trying to use OAuth 2, which is described in MCP specification. Uh, let's, so if I push connect, I should be able to log in into my AWS Cognito because I'm using AWS Cognito and then the new connector should be already ready for work. Let's try, let's see what happens. And you see, it happens nothing. I, I cannot see anything, any screen where I can enter my username and password and if I, I want to try to debug it to understand why it goes wrong I cannot do it because uh, cloud desktop doesn't contain any logs uh, that's why if you need uh, to debug your MCP connector you have a tool called MCP inspector and uh, in this video I will show you how you can set it up okay let's set it up first First things first, uh, first you need to run this connector. It runs with this, you, you need to run the inspector. It runs with this comment. I will put all the comments into the description for the video. Okay, I'm running it. And then uh, you can see I've got here a link with auth token. Because first I tried to use this token and it does not work because you should copy this one with the auth token you copy it and now you can open let's say page over here now this one is open here in the you should open streamable http and here you need to provide uh, the path to your ncroc url it's over here over here uh, now we can try open OAuth settings settings because i want it to be able to authenticate using OAuth and now i can try OAuth flow pro process progress step by step first let's try to discover uh, metadata continue and what will i have i have unexpected dot type why i have this message because if you try to open within croc you see i'm using the free one you have this message that you need to push uh, that you you want to continue to the site uh, but the problem is that when you use mcp inspector it doesn't know that it needs to push something that's why this approach will not work we, we can solve this problem in several ways for example we can pay for ncroc or another approach would be to use this command and now, as you can see, we have an endpoint. Here it is. The next thing we can do, we open our server, our MCP inspector over here. And now we need to change uh, this URL to the new one, to this one. And let's go again to our settings and let's try metadata discovery. As you can see, this time it's working. Let's try the next step. 
And the next step, we fail to fetch the registration endpoint, and that's correct, because uh, my app doesn't have a registration endpoint yet. That's how you can debug the MCP server. I hope the video is useful for you. Thank you. Bye.